Welcome back to Inside Eastern Utah. I am your host, Scotty Draper, and we are here with Stephanie and Joel today. They are with Bottega and Accelerant, and we have been talking about an exciting, we've been kind of teasing an exciting opportunity that's coming for Castle Country residents, and now we're gonna dive into it a bit more. And it is going to be something called a digital literacy course that everyone in Castle Country can take for free. And Stephanie's gonna tell us a bit more about it. Right, so normally it's a course that we charge $500 mm -hmm. for, um, but we really, really want to bring a great impact into Castle Country. So we're giving it for free. Um, <laughs> so what the course goes through is it goes through basic HTML, CSS, mm -hmm. some JavaScript, and then um, it's just basic scripting. Mm -hmm. So what it's for is to, again, see if you have the chops. Mm -hmm. It's it takes between 40 and 60 hours. And that just depends on how fast you work, how fast you absorb the information, mm -hmm. and um, and really your your fortitude for it. And you have it doesn't have to be 40 to 60 in like a week. It, you have a couple weeks right, to get right. through it. And right, they can actually sign up now. Mm -hmm. The deadline to sign up is September 9th, and then they have until September 30th to finish it. Fantastic. And take us a bit through what the course is like. So obviously it's going to be a lot of online. What can mm -hmm. people expect when they're doing the course? So for digital literacy specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to do an online tour. It is all online. Mm -hmm. So they'll walk through the basics, the foundations. They'll um, show you how different parts fit together. And then um, there's a few projects that you do. So it's hands-on, which means it's fun for people who are hands-on. Yeah. So you'll uh, learn and then you'll <laughs> actually put it into practice. Yeah, exactly. you do. You learn and you put it into practice. So there's at least three different uh, projects that you'll do mm -hmm. and complete within this time. And there are clones of, of popular pages. So it's really fun when you can go in, you can go into the, the text editor, you can type in your, your code and knows. pull it up mm -hmm. and see what it looks like. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you can see immediately what it looks like mm -hmm. when you're doing front-end development and it's really, it's really cool. And it, this is going to be just wide open for the community. I mean, if yeah. you're 18 and over, you're eligible to, to do it. Right. Get, but get in early. I, I would um, I'd I'd register now mm -hmm. and get started mm -hmm. because it will get tight um, between the ninth and the thirtieth and you want to make sure that you've got kind of a comfort level of looking into what you're going to have to get done exactly because mm -hmm. you, you can't it, 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 the thirtieth is the absolute deadline there's there's no other time. yes and right. how many people are you accepting. So uh, we are targeting for 300. Great. So there's only 300 slots available. And that's changed from the original 60 because mm -hmm. we wanted to be able to give more accessibility to the community. And if you think about it, 300, and I mean it's $500 yeah. a person, that mm -hmm. is just a huge <laughs> investment in Castle Country. Yeah, it so is. Obviously, Bottega and Accelerant see something in Castle Country. Oh, what, what is it? There's so much potential here. Mm -hmm. There's so many engineers that have been laid off. Yeah. This this county, you mm -hmm. know, castle, castle country, they need to be revived. And why not through technology? Everything yeah. today is technology. And every quarter doesn't have to, to roll to Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. If um, we right. can create an opportunity here where they can work here and eventually companies are utilizing their skills here mm -hmm. instead of just up on the Silicon Slopes. That's a win-win-win. Yes, and we are no strangers to hard work here. I mean, no. we, we were definitely built on it. So Ready to roll up your sleeves and get going? Of course. So we talk about these 300 people that you guys are aiming to have participate. And then I think something that is super exciting to know is that out of those 300, a handful are going to be chosen, and they're going to receive some scholarships for yeah. additional coursework. Great. So yeah. that's for our... Um, full stack mm -hmm. software development uh, track. Which is the 12 week that we spoke yes. about before. Yes. And what is that valued at? That is a well, huge value. $12,000. Wow. Yeah, so for Panda Labs, there are actual five scholarships that are granted. Yes. So the five people that do the best mm -hmm. on their, um, their pre work mm -hmm. on this. They're going to be selected to be able and to And those have are that. full scholarships. They'll pay so for the those full, full course. Mm -hmm. And then within the community itself, 
there's going to be another five scholarships that will be kind of a vacillating on need type mm -hmm. of scholarship. But we do also offer um, um, financing through Mountain America Credit Union. Fantastic. But the cool thing is, is what Gary's doing up at um, yeah, USU. Really awesome. Yes, tell us more about that. So Gary, any, any Castle Country resident that is over the age of 18 and under the age of 21, so in that three year mm -hmm. span, um, there's gonna be five people there that are also gonna be um, partial scholarships as well. Great. Now, what that partial is going to be, it's going to be on a need-by-need -need basis mm -hmm. and a communication, but there will be part of it that they won't have to pay for or mm -hmm. um, or they won't have to finance. Great. So, and, yeah, our hopes for that is that they can start working and finish their degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That will be great. And you want to know what? This is going to be super exciting because after that, first that digital literacy course and those people are taking that those mm -hmm. what we said 15 then five five and five mm -hmm. scholarships i mean that could be changing the lives of 15 families here or 15 businesses and we don't or have to limit the class to 15 mm -hmm. because we can do financing and we can do yes i think the classroom will take to up to 24 i can't remember exactly Great. what the number is so. and you know we talk a bit uh, we've talked a bit about how people that want to go into this for a living, this is a great course for them. But it's not just for people that are planning on doing solely this, solely coding. No. Right. Talk a bit about how this plays into businesses. There's so many jobs in mm -hmm. technology. I don't code. Mm -hmm. It's not my preference. It makes me want to throw my computer. You understand, you <laughs> under, you understand um, I do understand code. Mm -hmm. I understand how it all fits together. I understand the pieces and parts. Mm -hmm. And I can speak to very technical people in an intelligent manner and understand what they're saying mm -hmm. because I have this foundation. So mm -hmm. project management, this is a, a great skill that's needed for project management. Quality assurance. Quality assurance, yeah, yeah QA. Mm -hmm. um, it's needed for QA. So there's also um, anything to do with GIS. Python is very heavy mm -hmm. with, uh, with GIS. And, and your, um, your steps into um, cybersecurity are fantastic mm -hmm. because um, everything that you do with um, Python and React would be able to tie into the next steps of being involved with cybersecurity, so vets, this would be really cool with vets. Yeah, it would be really awesome for veterans. And we are uh, approved to uh, take the GI Bill, so they can use their GI Bill if they're military and have that to go through the course. And you, Fantastic. And you have a high ratio of vets here. And I think it's very popular for business owners or for yeah. business owners to send their employees through the yeah. course because, the, I mean, in this day and age, if you're a business and you don't have a website, you're you're kind of behind the times. So. Name for me one business mm -hmm. that doesn't involve tech. Right? In this day and age, <laughs> can you? There's none because mm -hmm. they have a cash register. Mm -hmm. They have phones. Mm -hmm. They have to order their items through the internet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of them obviously have web pages for customers mm -hmm. to come to and Mobile applications yes if you mm -hmm. can be doing some of that work on your back end either mm -hmm. between the owner or one of the employees mm -hmm. you're going to be saving money on your front I and mean, you don't small, have to contract with somebody because exactly. you already have somebody in-house mm -hmm. right so they can you can handle that from your end it just gives you a leg up on all of that yeah. yeah, it does. So certainly, I mean, yeah, if people want to do it for a living, but businesses get involved in this free course because even if you're representing a business mm -hmm. and not just yourself, right. you can still take this free course. Yeah. Right, right. And I, I really encourage people who have been in the engineering field in any form mm -hmm. to take the digital literacy course. I mean, they're already engineers. They think like engineers, and it's not going to be too far of a stretch. Mm -hmm. Another really great... Um, type to go after is musicians. Yeah. Musicians brains think very similarly to engineers brains mm -hmm. and also those who love math. Yeah. Yes, it can certainly be a great step. And you even mentioned we were speaking beforehand. Artists yeah. can oh, think yeah. along that. There's same a way, certain the city council member that I would love to have yes, join us. Uh, Terry Willis. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she's just completely. The pressure. She, yeah. I think she's um, um she's wired. 
to yeah. do something like this. Yeah, she is. You she's know. a fantastic artist, and she. I mean, even she has her own website. That's yeah. where she's selling a lot of her paintings. And so, really, any type of business or anyone yeah. interested in this, it's so diverse. So could it is. Give, could we give you a call to action of where they could sign up for this? Yes, please let us know because September 9th it's quickly okay. approaching, mm -hmm. and we need to get people signed um, up at accelerantbsp.com. Mm -hmm. If you simply go to the education tab, it'll bring up both the digital literacy as well as the information mm -hmm. about the full stack Bottega course. Fantastic. And so you can go there and once we engage there's this wonderful automated system and we'll also be talking to them about what the options are for the scholarships mm -hmm. and to do mm -hmm. well. It's not how fast you go or anything else. Right. You've got to do well. well. You do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just so everyone's aware, most people can code. Yeah. I mean we take ordinary people every day and they don't always think that they can learn but they can. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really from all walks of life. Yeah, I mean, anyone can learn this. Yeah. Eight, this 18 plus. plus. There, mm -hmm. There's no age requirements here. Yep. That's for the course. I mean, people under 18 can learn. It's just... Yes, for this <laughs> course, not the 18. I mean, right? a lot of teenagers, I'm sure, could beat out anything I know about yeah. coding. <laughs> and then some. Right? So be sure to go to Accelerant bsp.com is that what you said it is. and they you can find out more you can sign up Bottega you can go to their website there's plenty of information there mm -hmm. as well and just get signed up and this is a great free way to see if this might be a good match for you price rocks yeah, price, yeah. price I mean, is amazing, and really they've cho they've chosen you've chosen this area for a we reason, have, so. and yeah. our goal really is to empower the residents mm -hmm. in Castle Country through technology. Yes, because I mean the future it's just going to get further and further. We're diving deeper and yeah. deeper into technology, and it is just going to open a lot a lot of doors for people here. And the last time I checked, silicone was made out of carbon. Yep. So, so there you go. Right? So we've got good <laughs> roots here, right? Okay, well, if you want to learn more, like we said, go online, get signed up. The course is starting very soon. You need to sign up by September 9th and go there for more information. And thank you both for joining us yeah, today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Through. So, and thank you for everything you're doing to invest in Castle Country. Thanks. Yeah, we love it. And thank you for joining us on another episode of Inside Eastern Utah. Don't forget to sign up by September 9th. You can go online to learn more. You can also visit our website for more information. And stay tuned. We have more of your favorite programming coming up next on ETV Channel 10.